Hi everybody, my name is Moshumi. I am a registered dietitian and thank you so much for um, joining me in my live presentation today. Um, we have um, something very interesting uh, that uh, I am going to present to you guys. Um, I could not let this month of November go without talking about diabetes. Uh, uh, it is Diabetes Month. This is the month for diabetes. And uh, my topic today is reversing diabetes. Um, so um, can uh, very often I get asked, can diabetes be reversed? Of course, absolutely. We can reverse diabetes with lifestyle changes, um, uh, dietary changes, and so on. So here I am super excited to be talking about um, how do we reverse diabetes. Uh, uh, so just a few quick facts before uh, you know we get started on the topic. Um, just so you guys know, 30 million Americans have um, type 2 diabetes. It's a huge number. And um, 84 million people are pre-diabetic. And this is where, as a dietitian, my issue comes in is if people can catch uh, uh, that they are pre-diabetic, that the blood sugars are high, at this point, you can definitely reverse this completely. So uh, once again, thank you for watching. My name is Moshumi. I am a registered dietitian and um, please follow my page dietitian Moshumi. Uh, I do try to come in every Friday at noon. It is called lunch with the dietitian is my episode where we have lunch together and we talk about topics of interest uh, to all of us. Um, and today we are talking about reversing um, diabetes. So um, People will often, uh, you know, ask me uh, uh, what, so uh, in fact, just to get started, what is diabetes, right? Uh, uh, diabetes basically is a metabolic um, uh, disorder that is um, characterized by high blood sugar levels in our body. Uh, and it is caused by insulin inactivity or improper uh, production of insulin um, in our body, where uh, the pancreas is not. Uh, uh, which produces insulin generally is not uh, producing uh, insulin. Um, and so we see high blood sugar levels in our body. Uh, now, uh, there are uh, the three kinds of diabetes, which I'm sure all of you know. It's, um, you know, type 1, uh, which is um, uh, very often genetic, type 2, uh, which is uh, most of it uh, can be attributed to your lifestyle. And then um, we've got uh, the gestational diabetes, which happens during pregnancy. So uh, primarily here, I am going to touch base about type type 2 diabetes uh, because that is uh, a lifestyle uh, you know that is caused by um, lifestyle disorders and we can reverse this um, so the first thing that comes up is uh, what do we do right let's reconstruct our diets and I think I've talked plenty about diets what to eat and so on um, so today I am going to tell you my secret uh, mantra I call it uh, for uh, your diet reconstruction, the three important things that you definitely want to keep in mind. Um, I say uh, fiber, fat, protein combination of these three will prevent blood sugar spikes and that is super duper important. So uh, again, uh, let's keep in mind fiber, fat, protein. Uh, so, uh, for example, you know, I am going to be showcasing my lunch in just a little bit. And what do I have? I have full fat Greek yogurt. Um, and then I have berries on top and uh, with just a sprinkle of homemade uh, granola that, uh, you know, I've made at home with chia seeds um, on top of that. Uh, so basically, why am I using uh, a full fat yogurt? People will often ask me because, um, you know, the other part is weight loss is associated uh, with helping reverse uh, prediabetes or diabetes, right? So the full fat or the fat, good fat, 
that actually can act as a barrier to um, uh, your blood sugar spikes. So when you are having a co combination of say fiber with uh, your fat, uh, basically what is happening is that the fat is uh, slowing down the absorption of sugar in your body. So that is why um, I say instead of doing your uh, low fat um, yogurts with uh, added sugar, let's do plain whole fat yogurt. Let's add our berries um, and uh, uh, like uh, the berries, of course, are packed with your antioxidants or any fruit of your choice. And then you can sprinkle um, some granola on it. So uh, anyways, uh, that is one of my tips and one of my favorite, uh, uh, like I said, pet peeves for um, not only my diabetics, actually for everybody, you know, is the fiber, the combination of the fiber, fat and the protein. Uh, a couple of different combinations where you can also get it are, um, for example, if you do like a whole uh, 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 like a wholemeal rye bread uh, with the intact grains in there. So when you're buying your bread, just make sure that the grains are intact in there. I like that with um, my, you know, I might spread some all natural butter, uh, 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 protein butter, like your all natural peanut, cashew butter, and then top it with some uh, fruit again on it. Or I might do the same thing, like your, um, wholemeal rye bread and then i would spread some homemade hummus i had showed you guys how to make um homemade hummus it is on my blog also absolutely love hummus um and then uh, i put my cucumbers on it so what happens is it's a good good combination of your protein your fiber and your fat so that's where i'm coming at guys is um you do not have to say no to your carbs it's trying to do whole grain intact carbs because what happens is when uh you know when you're not doing the intact carbs you are losing the antioxidants the fiber that's you know coming on the kernel of the uh, grains is why i'm really really pushing for it and then, of course, like I said, in any of these combinations that I just talked about, your proteins, right? Like a homemade hummus, uh, you know, like a, a black bean spread that you can make at home. Um, uh, if, you know, uh, your natural peanut butter, they're great. Uh, they're wonderful. Um, uh, and then uh, your cucumbers, you know, I call them uh, my zero food because really, I mean, I know, you know, they might not have the best amount of uh, vitamins and minerals, but then they uh, pack in fiber, a fairly good amount of fiber. They've got water, um, which is also very important, you know, if you've just been, say, diagnosed with uh, uh, pre-diabetes or something uh, or for pre-diabetes, you definitely want to make sure that hydration is uh, very important too. Um, another, um, talking of hydration, uh got to get my water too. Um, the other uh, part um, that I am uh, very, um, that I think very strongly about guys, do not drink your carbs. Do not drink carbs, meaning do not drink any artificial drinks a big no no uh even your fruit juices i mean think of it you're not getting your fiber there um uh, look um, at your juice uh, most 90 percent of the time they have so much added sugar in them so um try to stay away from that definitely a uh, big uh no no so along with um, your diet, which we just talked about, like some of my favorite or my combination diet. The other thing that I push for all my clients, of course, is exercise. And then people go, what kind of exercise, right? Um, absolutely, you want to do your cardiovascular exercise to get your heart rate up, but you also want to start building muscles. So you want to, you know, strengthen uh, your uh, uh, body, you want to build your muscle mass, which a lot of us uh, women start losing, uh, men do too, you know, as you start aging. So uh, doing simple things like some resistance training, uh, and I'm not talking about like high intensity uh, resistance uh, training, guys, 
just doing some planks, uh, you know, some push-ups, uh, doing for your cardiovascular. If you are a runner, go ahead and run or just walking. But uh, what research is showing is that the combination is uh, just absolutely wonderful. The combination of your cardiovascular and your um, strengthening exercise is what works absolutely wonders, right? The other common question that I get asked often is um, how much weight loss? You know, definitely uh, there is research that shows that losing weight will help uh, with your blood sugar levels too. Now, it very much differs from person to person. However, um, again, you know, uh, my talks or whatever I do is very research based based it is science based so i will tell you um research shows that losing um as much as seven percent of your body weight um can cause uh your insu uh, insulin sensitivity to go up by 57 percent so uh, that that's a big deal so i am not somebody i'm not a proponent of any drastic weight loss do not start any of those yo-yo diets uh you know once uh, if, if your blood sugars are are high. Um, I'm not for that. I believe in gradual weight loss. In fact, I say if you can lose 10%, again, it depends on where you are, how much your body weight is, you know, your diagnosis and all of that. But if you can lose, say, 10% over six months, you, you're doing fairly well because we want sustainable weight loss. We don't just want a big weight dip and then, you know, you've gained that weight um, back up and it, it's not good for you, right? So, um, just quickly, I want to talk to you guys about symptoms. What are the symptoms? Uh, and I will tell you, not everybody is going to see symptoms either, which is why I really, really push definitely have your physical done once a year to get that blood work done is so so important and uh, as uh, especially women we are um, notorious about neglecting ourselves and not doing it always so please um, guys again um, definitely make sure that um, you are um, uh, getting your physicals done just so you know uh, it, and like I said you know if you're like borderline high super easy to reverse it absolutely I've done that with so multiple of my clients uh, you know in fact uh, we work together uh, with clients uh, that are diabetics too and we've reversed it um, let alone uh, pre-diabetics but anyways talking about um, some of the symptoms if you have excessive ex not I'm not talking about normal excessive thirst that could be a sign that um, something is going on um, you have excessive hunger it's just not in your normal parameters that could be um, definitely could be um, your uh, a sign that you know um, your blood sugars are uh, out of normal um, there um, frequent urination because again you know excess blood glucose so you're trying to excrete that so frequent urination is another symptom um, unexplained weight loss is another one so if you see that you suddenly um, have gained this weight or you've suddenly lost this weight definitely that's a symptom um, guys I mean um, definitely make sure um, to uh, you know uh, get it checked see um, how things are and so on and like I said very very important to me make sure you guys get your blood work done um, at least once a year get your physical done uh, especially like I said my niche or my speciality is I work with women 40 and over and it is, I cannot tell you, it is important for everybody. But as you, as we are getting older, it is super duper important to make sure that um, that goes really well. So um, anyways, I do have a challenge for all my followers today um, or goal setting is what I want to call it because I know the holidays are coming up and it is it is a difficult time for, uh, especially with the virus, uh, uh, staying home, um, things are uh, challenging for us. So, um, you know, I do have a set of goals for um, anybody um, and everybody, all my followers, all my friends, my clients um, to 
to follow. So these are the goals I have. Simple. I always say if you are trying to make a lifestyle change, let's start with small changes, right? Let's not do anything dramatic. Let's not do anything drastic because guess what? That's not going to work. But if we do small frequent changes, that definitely, definitely will make a difference. So one, so the first thing, let's try getting, um, like I always say, the eight to 10 glasses of water. Um, simple math. Every time, every time you are getting up to have a meal or a snack, um, get at least one to two glasses of water, right? So if you've done your three meals with two snacks in between and you got two glasses there, you know, you've got your 10 glasses. So um, not, not, not difficult at all, right? We all can do it. Um, uh, since I'm on that eight to 10 number, eight to 10 hours of sleep. Excuse me. Every night, let's try to do eight to 10 hours of sleep. Very important. So eight to 10 glasses of water, eight to 10 hours of sleep, um, uh, five to uh, six fruits and vegetables. So by the end of the day, try thinking, did I have um, five to six um, uh, different kinds of vegetables and at least servings of vegetables and fruits, right? So uh, my tip always, uh, I had just blogged on it. Um, I will uh, tell you, go ahead um, and, you know, for, definitely follow my blog, but I just written about the importance of vegetables for your breakfast. So if you are finding this a challenge, start with breakfast, you know. Uh, I know people often think about fruits for breakfast, but what about vegetables for breakfast? Get started on that. Uh, uh, the other thing is with all of us uh, working from home and sitting on the computer, let's try to do at least four um, stretch breaks. Okay, so four times, get up, get your stretching going, right? Okay, uh, one, at least one breathing exercise or a meditation, anything because stress, blood sugars related again. So let's work on that. Um, and the uh, the biggest uh, challenge or you know excitement I have for you is let's try to do about um, eight thousand um, steps a day. Uh, we all have you know everybody is uh, now using our phones. We have our watches. Uh, try to uh, log in there. There are so many different apps where you can see your steps. Uh, not a whole lot, but let's go ahead. Let's get started. Let's log in the steps. Uh, and I think this is especially important with the holiday time uh, with as um, staying at home and um, uh, so you know some of these um, challenges just do these challenges if nothing else with your family see who wins you know um, just uh, good um, good ways to get us going correct uh, the bottom line, the bottom line of all of this, guys, even with somebody who is diabetic, I say there is no, unlike, you know, the different diets, I say there is no good food or bad foods, right? All foods in moderation. So say um, somebody uh, is pre-diabetic or diabetic is, you know, really yearning for some pizza. Um, I would say, it, yeah, you know, let's look at the options. Maybe let's have a thin crust pizza. Um, let's do, uh, we could do a, uh, a cauliflower, uh, uh, you know, a cauliflower pizza, right? Uh, so the, uh, so your crust is made out of um, cauliflower and not regular flour. So making those, choosing those options. Um, so if you are, like I said, yearning for something, go ahead, have it. Just make sure your portion sizes are um, uh, what is very, very important. Um, uh, talking about uh, portion sizes, if you are still finding um, that it is uh, very challenging for you, um, try doing, um, I was going to just show you guys, try using your little uh, measuring cups, right? These are just, abs I absolutely love these. Um, they're so wonderful. And um, this is 
I don't know if it's visible or not in the camera, but um, just trying to show you guys what my lunch today is. Uh, so basically, it's the full fat plain Greek yogurt with fruit. And then I've got, uh, I've sprinkled some granola and chia on it. Looks really, really pretty. I'm going to take a picture and uh, post it for you guys in there. Uh, the key was I did use one cup of fruit, um, a half a cup of my yogurt, and then just one fourth cup of my uh, granola right so again portion sizes are key guys when you are trying to eat healthy um and then as much as you can like i say try to have from scratch uh unprocessed food so even the granola um is a homemade granola uh with lots of chia and a lot of good things in it Finally, uh, the dietitian's tip uh, for today, if you have been recently diagnosed with uh, diabetes, do not worry. It is completely reversible. Um, and um, uh, one of my tips is I really like um, the seeds called fenugreek seeds. They are called methi in India, um, fenugreek seeds. So uh, try doing this. Uh, uh, try having uh you know soaking a teaspoon of your fenugreek seeds overnight in a glass of water have that water in the morning really really helps with your blood sugars natural way to get your blood sugars down so um again uh if any of you have any questions uh, please post it in the comment section i absolutely love hearing from you guys if you feel like this holiday is a struggle for you go ahead send me a message i uh, i do offer group sessions in individual sessions um, if uh, again or if you're just wanting to eat healthy uh, you know lose that weight or uh, reach a certain weight goal uh, without following any um, of those yo-yo diets definitely send me a message like I said I love hearing from you guys any topics you want me to discuss uh, in the future uh, I am happy to um, and um, I will see you guys again I will take uh, next Friday off have a wonderful Thanksgiving everybody um and uh keep some of the my tips in mind and uh follow my blog because i will be blogging about healthy eating uh for thanksgiving let's enjoy food let's enjoy uh the comfort that food provides but let's not um overdo anything portion sizes variety and eating mindfully are some of the key factors so have a wonderful day a wonderful weekend and a wonderful thanksgiving happy healthy holidays to all of you take care guys bye now